Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As Andrews University, we want to thank you. While it is always difficult to listen to stories that document pain, injustice, and mistreatment within our community, we are thankful that you have spoken directly, honestly, and from your heart. We want you to know that we have heard your legitimate concerns about systemic racism and injustice for the African American community that has marked centuries of this country's history. Most importantly, we want you to know that we have heard your heartfelt and painful reflections. These stories speak to a reality that has been a disgraceful part of the history of this institution and our church for the last 14 decades. The tragic realities of racism and injustice injure the lives, hearts, and souls of our community, right here at Andrews University and in the larger communities we belong to. You've asked for a response within a week. We'd agree. In fact, it should not take us any time at all to answer and acknowledge some essential things. So let's begin right now. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. As an organization, we have been guilty of racial bias, of making our faculty, staff, and students of color feel less than. We have not listened well enough. We have not been sensitive enough. And we have missed opportunities to take action where action should have been taken. For that, I apologize. I am sorry. Andrews University's history has been marked by systemic racism. In the past, Official policies have included forced segregation in the cafeteria and prohibitions against interracial dating. For that, I apologize. I am sorry. Explicit racist acts committed against black students have been part of our history, including cross burnings on our campus in 1969 and 1974. Hateful words and actions have been directed against our students. Even today, our minority students have been misunderstood and marginalized. For that, I apologize. So I believe the only answer is a simple but profoundly challenging one. We must do better. And be better. We must do better. And be better. We must do better and be better. To begin, this progress will be achieved by direct, frequent, and meaningful interactions about the changes we need in the classroom, from the pulpit, in meeting rooms and offices, and even around cafeteria tables. It's a change that will involve listening to the voices of those who continue to be treated unjustly, including those from other marginalized and minority groups. This change will involve each of us, including those who may not understand the pain and difficulties that some within our community face. In addition to civil and productive dialogue, here are some specific steps we are implementing on a campus already blessed with a remarkable richness of diversity. We must explore and pursue the strength diversity brings if we are to center our community in God's calling for our lives. The first step is this. We will immediately begin a search for a full-time senior level administrator of diversity, a new cabinet level position <coughs> reports directly to me and will drive meaningful, visible, and ongoing change. This position will expand and strengthen cultural diversity training that will be required of all faculty, staff, and students. As a faculty, staff, and administration, in order to ensure high quality education that prepares our students to serve meaningfully in a global environment. Our curriculum should also clearly reflect and educate our students about our diversity. We will have a strengthened grievance process that allows students to simply and directly report injustice and mistreatment of all kinds and to seek resolution. We will commit to honor and celebrate all the ways we seek and achieve community, including how we gather and worship together throughout our university family. We will also seek to understand celebrate and honor the ways we worship from within the classroom and beyond as we reflect that commitment and understanding as teachers, staff, and community. I pledge to hold Andrews University accountable. I pledge to hold Andrews University accountable.
to be a place of commitment, a place of real change, a place where God's influence is evident and reflects the call of Jesus Christ to be a loving community. I pledge to hold Andrews University accountable to learn from the painful lessons of the past and commit to a more just, caring, and inclusive future. We pledge to hold Andrews University accountable to pursue these goals in transparent, measurable, and significant ways. We pledge to hold Andrews University accountable to pursue these goals in transparent, measurable, and significant ways. I pledge to guide and inspire Andrews University to become a visible example of racial justice and equality. Our campus will be a place of safety for our African American students and employees, as well as for people of all races, ethnicities, and cultures. This ongoing journey towards reconciliation, healing, and transformation will be hallmarks of this university. May God bless this process of reconciliation, healing, and transformation. May God bless this process of reconciliation, healing, and transformation for our student and campus community. So may God bless this process of reconciliation, healing, and transformation for our entire community, both on this campus and beyond. A process that continues today and culminates in the joyous return of our Lord Jesus Christ.